Hey what's up guys this is Sagar here and this is what's in my android late 2017. Starting off with my home screen, the launcher which I'm using is currently the Lenovo Launcher Pro. I tried a couple of launches uh, recently but I eventually come back to the Lenovo Launcher because it's pretty stock and responsive. I'll provide a link in the description for the backup file if you need it for the Lenovo Launcher and uh, I'll even show you the settings uh, a bit later. So I'm using the Google Companion by my side and it gives me all the important cards which I need like the Infinity War trailer here, match updates, the weather forecast card and uh, some tech news. So I've customized this launcher to make it look more like the Google Pixel 2 uh, which is currently the Pixel launcher and these are super widgets, this arrow and the weather and date widget which you see here so i'll post a link in the description below for the zuper widgets as well my main home screen just consists of some of the google apps like gmail google maps photos google chrome and youtube so i constantly use google photos since it backups uh, everything that i've clicked or which i have in my gallery to all my other devices and uh, it's unlimited storage of course so google photos is always my top priority and this here is the Google Now search bar. So moving on to my secondary home screen. This consists of more apps which I use frequently and some of the widgets like the top widget is the play music widget. So I can quickly change songs from here. And this is the Steam widget. So whenever I'm logging to my Steam, I can basically just click here and get my Steam guide. So my first row consists of the social media which I use like WhatsApp snapchat instagram and facebook so these are used on a regular basis for day-to-day -day activities and i'm not pretty much active on instagram but you can still follow me at kotian sagar so the second row is youtube creator studio which is for handling my youtube channel or it gives all the analytics and stuff in a single app so it's pretty much handy if you have a youtube channel the facebook messenger share it and the stock contact stock file manager stock gallery stock messenger this is the duo for video calling i don't frequently use that much but i still have it in my home screen and the stock camera play store and stuff over here so this was my secondary home screen the wallpaper is also stock from lg and uh, the navigation bar is also the stock navigation bar since i pretty much love this animation gesture here which gets the home assistant the google assistant at my service so the third screen here has more than half of the page of widget this is the month widget i'll even post a link for this in the description this is pretty aesthetic over here and uh, there are many themes and stuff so i pretty much love this widget and below this is the live subscriber count so currently i have around 3.2k subscribers now hopping into my app draw the first are the frequently used apps. This is the AZ screen recorder which I'm currently recording my screen with. The Bitmoji for Snapchat and uh, other such as stock stuff. Flipkart for online shopping. M indicator which is a traveling local train kind of app which comes pretty handy if you travel a lot by trains but only in Mumbai. And Paytm for my online payments. Pixart, I uh, frequently edit my pictures on phone uh, with Pixart. So if I, have, I need a quick edit, which I just do it with Pixart instead of hopping into my PC and opening Photoshop. The widget which I used for my YouTube subscription was this uh, live subscriber account over here and uh, Swiggy for food delivery service. Mm. Whenever I have to edit my videos on my phone, not YouTube videos but normal random videos, I use Viva Video Pro since for Android I guess this is the best for editing application. It does not have much features but for basic editing that's fine. The Super Widget Pro and MuTorrent for downloading my torrents, the torrent client. Uber and uh, Darker. This is to dim my phone's screen brightness below what's normal so that at night it doesn't get too much irritating you can also set the settings from the notification bar for darker i'll post some of the app and uh, launcher links in the description below 
to like this video share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one